This is how you can draw the Penrose Triangle, also called the Impossible Triangle, inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do is simply to draw a triangle. So select the star tool and simply start drawing a star. But while holding down the mouse button, click down on your arrow keys until we have a triangle. But right now the triangle is tilted, so to correct this, hold down the shift key and then release your mouse button. And here we have a perfect and straight triangle. Now go to the top of the screen and make sure this link is on. Then go to width and type in 400 pixels. Then go to the selection tool. And now we need a lot of copies of this triangle. So go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and select paste in front. And as you can see, the shortcuts is Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in front. And to make the video a little bit quicker, we'll be using these hotkeys for the other triangles. But for now, select paste in front. This means we now have a triangle in front of the first triangle. So now with the top triangle selected, hold down the shift key and with the arrow keys on your keyboard, move the triangle five times to the right. One, two, three, four, five. So now with this triangle selected, Click Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in front. And do the same thing for this triangle. So hold down the shift key and move the triangle five times to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Now select all the triangles and remove the fill so we only leave the strokes. Then select the first triangle and do the same steps but for the left this time. So Ctrl C, Ctrl F, hold down the shift key and one, two, three, four, five. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then select the middle triangle once again and do the exact same steps but up this time. So Ctrl C, Ctrl F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we have all the copies of the triangles that we need. So now select all the triangles, go to the shape builder tool and go to the middle triangle right here. So now count three shapes to the right side. So 1, 2, 3. And while holding the cursor on the third shape, hold down the ALT key to get a minus sign next to the cursor and simply delete all these shapes. Then go back to the middle triangle and do the same thing for the left side. 1, 2, 3. Hold down the ALT key to subtract and delete all the shapes from here. Now simply delete all these excess parts sticking out of the triangle. Leaving behind a shape like this. Now go to the selection tool and click away from the triangle to unselect it. Then zoom in so we can see what we are doing. Then grab the line tool and draw a line from this anchor point right here to this anchor point right here. Do this in all the corners. Sometimes it will say anchor point and sometimes it will say intersect as right here. Do the same thing for the left side. Now select the entire drawing again. Then select the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key Subtract the tips of the triangle. Now go to this corner right here. And this time we do not hold the ALT key while building our shapes because we want to add to the shapes and not subtract. So make sure there's a plus sign next to the cursor and start drawing like this all the way up to here and from here down to here. Then from the tip right here, so down to the corner right here and inside the triangle right here. And one more time from the tip right here, move to the right and move up. So this is the shape, but we are not entirely done yet, so keep watching. Now go to the selection tool and while having the entire drawing selected, make the shapes a fill instead of a stroke. So click the swap button right here. And as you can see right now, this doesn't look correct. And that's because we have a lot of triangles inside the middle of the shape from when we were building the shapes in the beginning. So delete all these triangles one by one. So click delete, click delete. When all the triangles are deleted, click the left side and give it a light color. Then click this shape and give it a slightly darker color. Then click the bottom shape and give this shape the darkest color. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.